A dog's death. La muerte de un perro. Uh, let me read just one name here. Guillermo Arena. I looked him up, but not extensively, as much as I could see on IMDb. It doesn't say if it's uh, from Uruguay, because this would be, for us, the first uh, feature from that country. It's not just Uruguay. Indeed, when it was in the program, they mentioned Argentina, and I think some other countries, putting up various funds and resources. And uh, but it takes place in uh, Montevideo, so I'm, I'm guessing there is Argentinian participation, but there must be Uruguayan, that's what I thought, I think I just went there and made that down. Um, so we have a little peculiar thread story, <laughs> on some levels, uh, reminding me of um, Canine. Greek uh, landmark uh, that we had uh, lost, uh, the lobster and uh, death of a sacred deer shooting in the city. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and it's along those lines somehow, I guess. Uh, maybe we can attach a Ramores Peros and what else did I put down? Reminds me of something else. Uh, it's No, I didn't make it. Maybe it's in the front, but let's not waste more time here. Uh, so, um, the main character, the vet, has a small clinic. Dogs come in. One dies. He's taking it to the... To the um, uh, incinerator. He has a bag, they cannot open the bag, so they put it with the bag inside. That's that's an interesting element because you will do that again in a different context, like uh, bringing in a bit... Um, uh, spoiler alert, I will say something uh, here. Mm. Uh, with the idea that not many are watching this, and if they did, they haven't reached so far, and then what will they do? They will look on Cinemax or on HBO in the HBO package to watch uh, uh, Dog's Death. I very much stop that. Uh, so anyway, later on he will come with a suitcase, uh, actually. He has a dog uh, in a suitcase in the back of the car. He brings the man from the incinerator. Oh, dog, what a dog. Uh, and then uh, let me help you with it. Have, no, no, let us, we'll bring it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> in this old switcher, he keeps the dog in the car. The dog is just asleep. I was afraid for a while that he killed the dog to make this swindle operation. And then he brings a similar suitcase with something that uh, goes some secret inside to be incinerated. So, uh, the dog is dead, uh, talks to the owner, one of two owners, two women, I'm not sure if there's a lesbian partnership there or they're just sisters, whatever. And, um, look, we have this place, we, what we, we'll take care of her, we'll just sign here, we'll take him and we'll be burned and we'll take the ashes. So I think he comes to the logs with the ashes in a small box. Yeah, but the woman, woman is already very upset, very um, um, furious with the thing. Uh, I, I talked with a, with a friend and who knows, and 
he said that it's, it's not okay the way you die, you know, epilepsy, that's it. That's not, uh, so, uh, what happened? Did you already, yeah, I mean, in the same day, I mean, it's not uh, what you've done, and I, I, I don't like this. this. These are not quotes, I don't remember the title, but I, I guess uh, there were words to that effect. And so, throughout the movie, I think the performance of Guglielmo, I didn't see the name, the actor, the it was splendid. All right, uh, the actress playing his wife is also very good in the, in the same thing. Reserved, uh, somber, uh, very heavy with the, all this pressure coming in because this is snowball there, the snowball effect. Um, going down the valley. Sodoma is very upset, she puts it on social media, Facebook, the comments, all the killers, then there's a demonstration in front of her, he has to close the clinic because he's accused of crime like that, then people there uh, with blood on their faces, <laughs> playing animals, um, all the paraphernalia, um, which is, I mean, I understand that point of view, that people are inhuman, they're not good, you know. Mm, alas, I had a dog, uh, I mean, I had five some years ago because somebody in there said so. I mean, that just was not in the sky. Maybe it's not in the sky too, I don't I doubt. Uh, but uh, there is somebody, something in the sky. Um, as in God. Uh, Allah. Thousand Hindu gods. Um, that's from other ah. then, uh, and uh, we had to go to the dark all the time, and many gods, and some are uh, hopeless, of course. But uh, it's a bit strange. So he goes to live with his daughter, and there's the um, uh, more upset. Pressed, <laughs> and it's it's getting to the point where it's a bit amusing, I and mean, I it's not hilarious. We're we're not falling from our chairs watching all this, but uh, there is a jocularity there. There is an irony. There is also tragedy because in the end somebody dies. 